Welcome to Buffalo, New York, and UB Stadium, home of the Buffalo Bulls, where the fans know that no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bulls. Today, an intra-conference battle between a couple of Mac rivals. As we'll see, the Toledo Rockets taking on a team recharged after a much-needed bye week, the Buffalo Bulls. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Rockets will kick it away to start. Set to kick this one On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the Buffalo Bulls offense will get the first possession of the game. And there he is. To this team's fans, he is a heroic figure. He is the guy who can lead them to the promised land. This guy has been in big games in big moments, and he's delivered for his football team. It never seems like a situation is just too big for him. This obviously is a huge game. I cannot wait to see this guy compete. Coming after it. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. I'm not sure you have much in the script to convert a third and this long on the opening drive. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Moving out of the pocket. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. And the defense pays that blitz off with just what you want, putting the O in third and long. And a lot of people get conservative on third and long and drop a lot of people. I like bringing pressure. Tell the QB, you better get the ball out of your hand fast because we're coming for you. They Number Blitz gets home. Nice on job on the defense being aggressive on third and long. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. So Toledo's offense will go to work for the first time today. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking downfield, it's Gleason. Fires to the big fella. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. The give from the gun. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. They'll snap it from the 34 on first and 10. To the ground. He's got it again. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll try to pop the draw. Powerful running as he trucks his way to the 28. They'll snap it from the 28 in field goal range, but it's third and short. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And the Rockets look to keep this drive humming. First down for the offense. He'll keep it himself. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. And now on second down for this offense. From the gun, the ground game. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Fakes the grab on the left. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Looking for the touchdown on third and goal. Goal. 
Getting some heat. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble and down he goes. A tremendous loss. Great timing by the defense there. Obviously, the offense has the ball in the red zone, and you're trying to create a negative play to back them up. They do that with the sack, and if they're now going to try a field goal, it's going to be a little more work for the kicker. It's fourth down, Number and they'll try three. the field goal. And he'll need a little distance and to bend it just right. A 41-yarder from the left hash. Splits the upright. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Toledo, 3, Buffalo, 0. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. From inside the 10 yard line, he'll bring it back. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27 yard line. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Running back searching for a hole. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Moore. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Not a whole lot of room. Maybe second and seven. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll try the run. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Big third down here. They need to get the ball to the 41. Back to pass. It's Agbana. Feeling some heat. They're trying to get to it. And they got him for the sack. Well, he had nowhere to go with the ball, guys. And the defense is a nickel. Great job by the DBs in coverage. No receivers open. And the Bulls line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Toledo has the ball. Here comes the offense. To the ground with the back. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Halfway there on first down. It's second and five. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And there was no for this quarterback and down he goes nice coverage on the back end great job nothing open right away the QB holds the ball in the pocket and the pass rush finally gets home sometimes it's the DBs doing great work sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front if they can convert here that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum on third and long hoping to throw beyond the sticks Going to try to pop one on the screen. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. He'll bring it back. It's Birch. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. They'll run it from the gun. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Toledo has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Offense in a bunch formation. They'll run it out of the shotgun. 
Brought down at the 46, but he got 10 on the play. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Used the play fake, now to throw. Now he's going to break the pocket. At the 40, there he goes. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. The Bulls want to move quickly. I mean, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing them. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because... And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. Fast motion from the offense. They'll go to the ground. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. So now on comes the field goal unit. And this one is anything but routine. A 48-yard attempt from the right hatch. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Just about set to kick it away. From inside the 15, here's the return. And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. The Rockets offense is back on the field. Handoff to the lone back. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Might as well stick with him. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Here's the handoff. At the 35, he's open. Oh, look out. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Toledo. Touchdown. Play. It's so nice to have guys that can create these explosive plays like this. You hand it to him, he can do the rest. Look at the speed, look at the elusiveness, get into the end zone. Nice run. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Texas State is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This program has picked itself up before, and it's capable of it again today. The give to the back. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Arkansas State. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. You got to think they'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to run for it. And this one will be stopped for no gain. And the Bulls will call on their punt team. Slips through the line. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Guys, let's see what Toledo can get done on offense this time. 
David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Back to throw, it's Gleason. Trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. The Rockets send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Birch. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shots. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Give to the back. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the steps. Give to the running back. He locked up and held on to bring him down. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. They'll try to run for it. The Bulls pick up the first down. Here's his offense with a fresh set of downs. Now they're going to throw it. Extending the play. Trying to escape and get it himself. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking for a gap. It's Henderson. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. The option look. Now the pitch. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. Knocked down at the 29 after a pickup of four. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Dropping back, it's Agbana. Moves away as he feels pressure. He's going to run it. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And the Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. The sure hands, it's McMillan. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Now adjusting. And the heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. This is just so demoralizing. You want to talk about taking a game over. That's what this defense is doing right now. They are just winning in the trenches. They're easily the more athletic and more physical unit up front, dominating this O-line. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Discards a man. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. The offense set for a first down play. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Setting up the screen. 
Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock and they'll get a quick breather. Back to throw, it's Gleason. They're bringing heat. Well, the offense got themselves into trouble. They're back in their own end. It's an obvious passing situation, so the defense is just years back, and they're trying to get after him. They could not allow him to escape, step up, get rid of the football. They take a sack very close to the goal line. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And the Rockets will punt this one away. He'll signal for and make the fair catch right around midfield. up this drive with the pass gets away unloads to the wideout that one will be incomplete and we are down to 10 seconds to go just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime on second down wants to throw looking left he find his man and the clock stops with six seconds left just enough time for one final play of the half on third down going up top pressure coming can't find a receiver and down goes the quarterback a sack to punctuate this first half We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Western New York. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside picturesque UB Stadium. The Bulls will kick it away first and will start the second half. Here's the return from inside his 10. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. Toledo has the ball, here comes the offense. They start this third quarter with the lead, but they might want to think about shoring up that protection. Yeah, the good news is you're, you're leading on the scoreboard. The bad news is your quarterback doesn't feel like it because you can't protect him. So, David, adjustments in pass protection, that has to be something they were talking about here at halftime. A hundred percent. Just you, you can't get him hit that much. He's still doing a good job delivering the football, but if you keep hitting the quarterback enough, man, they'll start to see ghosts, they'll panic, and they'll make some of those mistakes. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Coming after him. They get him a crush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Well, the defense obviously went in at halftime. They were trailing on the scoreboard. They needed to make some adjustments, and already they're showing some positive signs. On the very first drive of the second half, they're able to register a sack on third down, looking to get the ball back to their offense here. The Rockets will try to pin them back with the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets a block. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Buffalo has him back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. Out of the gun. The running back has it. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Got room at the 35. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. 
I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's the where, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. Able to make the tackle, but not before he gets five yards down to the 21. And the Bulls want to crank the tempo. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. He's got it on the move. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Operating in the red zone here on second down. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. That is now the seventh sack on defense. This offense cannot protect their QB. It doesn't matter if the defense is blitzing or if they're just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Seven sacks? That's just ridiculous. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Back to throw. It's Agbana looking for space to the left. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Buffalo! Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. He'll try to tack on one more. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Utah State is currently up big right now in a game they'll be talking about in Logan for some time. They're up by 15 over UNLV. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. They go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Getting some heat. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. And the defense gets to it. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them. Because I don't think they make very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. And the Rockets will line up to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He's got great speed. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Going up top on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Moore. Stopped after making the catch. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. Steps away. He's going to take off. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. First down for the offense. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Rocket. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. 
defense. Really nice drive by this offense. This is a top 10 defense. This is a challenge. They're going to make everything difficult. So when you can make some plays against this defense, you got to absolutely take advantage, create some momentum for your squad. Nice drive by this offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but did what they're supposed to do. Now, Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Free snap motion in the backfield. To the air, it's Agbana. Takes the easy one to the back. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. The Bulls are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. From the gun, running back gets to give. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third down, and they'll need to get the ball to the 38-yard line. Feeling some heat. He'll pull it down and run. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. And the Bulls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Holds and fires complete to the right. Stop just inside the 25. We'll mark it at the 24. Pick up of 10 and the first down. And that's it up for another Bulls. First down. The inside handoff. Shakes off the tackler. And these RPOs always put the defense in a bind. But listen, you give up the run, they get a short little game. No harm, no foul. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Toledo has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. On second down, they'll take to the air. Quarterback moving. Going to try to get it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And a big opportunity for this offense to tie the game up in the fourth with a touchdown. Floats it out in space. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Second and goal for this offense. Looking for a man. It's Agbana. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Bulls! And this offense is still early in the down, second and goal. They could still run it. They go with the pass. Nice job by the quarterback, seeing it immediately, getting the football out of his hands, seeing his wide receiver open, getting the big touchdown. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. 
and he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Looking deep down the right side. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? After the misfire, now on second down. Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving and they've got it at the 45. Looking for a productive play on first down. Hand off from the shotgun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Still running at the 40. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. The Rockets want to pick up the tempo. Hey, listen, explosive plays comes in all different shapes and sizes. That time, they attacked the outside to the left on the ground, and that is a momentum-shifting play. They know they have a huge advantage there. I, I expect them to go right back to it. And what do you do now if you're on defense? you got to be expecting that they're going to try and tack that side of the field, maybe in the same way, maybe on this next play right here. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. They're trying to get to it. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, that's probably not on your bingo card. You saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack. And the Rockets will line up to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. He'll bring it back. It's Birch. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offense here let's dial it in who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity yeah and i'm interested to see this defense too like the momentum is clearly not in your favor how do you get it back how do you make a big play do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense on third down he'll try to pick it up through the air he'll pull it down they finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. The Bulls have it with a first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Looking to throw, it's Agbana. Pocket starts to collapse. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chain. And the Bulls are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, the running back has it. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Catch in the middle. It's Morrill. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. They'll give it to the back. 
Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Stevens. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Via the screen, tackled on the play at the 31 yard line. And that's good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Grabbed behind the line, it's Newton. At the 45 on his way! And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. The clock has stopped as we have reached the two-minute warning here in the ballgame. Dropping back, it's Gleason. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Leaves it with the running back. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The give out of the gun. Maybe a three-yard pickup there, third and long coming up. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. They'll keep it on the ground. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. The defense calls the timeout, and that's their last one of the half. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And now they've taken the lead in the final two minutes and set the stage for a great finish. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. I can't think of anything that frustrates an offensive coordinator more than holding the ball a long time and having... It's caught! And what a job to get the foot down and make it a huge gain along the sideline. Well, that's exactly why you practice these two-minute situations. The quarterback knew exactly where to go. He's trying to work the sideline, save some clock. Great route by the receiver getting open, making the catch, getting out of bounds. And this drive is off to a pretty good start. Tips. Those are such good things for defense. A lot of times they lead to interceptions and big plays. Just try to get any kind of disruption you can. He's got an open man. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. And uh, first down for the offense. Looking to throw it again. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They make the stop, but the sweet bullet catch is plenty to give them a first down. The Bulls come to the line with a new set of downs. Wants to throw. It's Agbana. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. 
Let's it go to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. This kicker is going to need nerves of steel on this one. It's good. Final minute of play all locked up, but we headed to overtime. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. UCLA looked like a serious force in what can only be described as a dominant win. This is a program with a case full of trophies, and they might just add some more hardware before this year is out. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that. It sounds as if they had a good one there. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Got him downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Offense takes a timeout. 27 seconds left. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. Timeout called by the offense. Clock stopped with 21 seconds left. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. It's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drill. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. We're getting deep in the game, and this is for the lead. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. You understand the celebration after taking the lead, guys, but this thing is not over yet. the lead with that late clutch field goal and now to see if they can get a stop and keep them from tying the game in the closing seconds he'll bring it back from inside his five just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24 they've got to move quickly here still a chance but they've got to force the ball down the field they're bringing heat couldn't find anybody to throw to he'll just toss it away and down. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. He wants a big play here late. And it's an incomplete pass on the deep shot, but the flag is down. Let's check the call. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. You know, there's no real reason to panic, but if you think about it, when does panicking ever really help? But certainly this was a bitterly disappointing outcome. And you can look at a lot of different statistics, and I know we tend to overcomplicate college football these days, but guys, at the end of the day, it comes down to two very simple things. You can't turn the ball over, and you can't have penalties. You do those things, David, and it'll beat you every time. That's the difference between winning and losing. It's the small things, but find those things that you need to improve on, keep working on them, keep developing. Those things you do well, let's do those. Let's do more of those things more consistently. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.